Are you a new Saint customer and just got your box for the first time and you're opening it and you have no idea what to do? This video is for you. This is a beginner tutorial for new Saint customers who have just received their box and want to know exactly what to do with their tins, how to build their palette, and apply their makeup for the first time. So hang around and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. You should have received a box and in the box you'll have found a palette, a set of tins, which is all your makeup, some brushes, maybe you have a brush cleaner. Regardless of what's in there, you might have different things than me, but I'm gonna show you how to fill your palette with your tins and how to get started with your makeup for the first time. In your box, you should have received a palette. This is the 12, this is a two layered palette. So you can have six tins on one and six on the bottom, unless you're doing something with eyeshadows. We're just gonna work with our full face today and no eyeshadows. You could have gotten a smaller palette, this is an eight, or a bigger one, but let's we're gonna start with the 12 because this is what I recommend for all my customers. And if you are a customer and you're watching my video, most likely you got this size palette. So let's get it filled. I like to go in with the colors. Now here they are, here are all your pins. And they come in a little bag like this and they're individual tins like this. You open them like this. Just be careful not to push too hard on the top. So you're gonna open it up like this and then you're gonna put it in your tin. Now this is white peach, this is my, my lightest color and I like to put the tins in my, my palette in the order of which I like to wear them. So as you can see, it's magnetic and it can pop right into your palette and you can pick it up and you can move it around like that. So I like to put mine like this and then I go in with my next color, which is my color corrector. Now, if you have a problem and it's sticking, you could put a little tape on the back and pull it out like that. And I put my next color mango, which is my color corrector like that. So I do two like that. And then my next color is amber. Where is that color? And again, open the tin. And I like it to look like this. So I do my first, second, and third like this. And then my next color is gonna be my contour. And so I usually put my contour like this. And then I like to use my lip and cheek. So mine is nude. It's got a little few mock marks. And then I'll go in with an illuminator. Now you may have gotten some different things. You may not have gotten an illuminator. That's okay. I'm just gonna show you how to use the basic colors. So let me pop that one in there. And that is what the top layer of my palette looks like. Now on the bottom, you could add more creams, more lip and cheeks, maybe you have eyeshadows. My recommendation is to make sure that you have your creams on one layer and then anything that's a powder on the, on the second layer because not that you were ever gonna drop your palette, but just in case you did, you wouldn't want the powder to break and then get into your creams and that'll just save you your creams. Um, so that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna work with the top layer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply your makeup from the top layer. Now, most of the people who are my customers, if you're not my customer, feel free to go in the link below and fill out your color match and I would love to help you with your makeup. If you are a customer, you will have received a picture of yourself that I have drawn on and on it, it will show you where to put the makeup, three different colors, white, yellow, and blue. The white color is the brightener, so that is the first color I like to apply on my face and that's why I put that one here and that's usually the lightest color in your palette. The blue one will be your color corrector, which is the second color I like to apply and then their third one will be your main color and those are the three colors that I put on your face and you'll see here's an example. Now, when you get your color match results, you'll get a contour color that I recommend for you. And then most likely you'll have picked your own lip and cheek and maybe a illuminator. And so those are the six colors that I have on top of my palette right here. When you get your box, you'll also get some brushes. Now, I don't know which ones you decided to purchase, but these are the three that are my top three brushes, especially for beginners. I love the blend brush. It's got a fluffy end on one end and a softer, smaller end on the other. The the detail brush, which is this one, is one of my favorites. It has a, a sort of a edge on right here, which is great for contour, a smaller detailer end right here, and then the blush bronzer brush, which is great for uh, 
stippling and blending your highlights for the first time and forever because I use these three brushes all the time. They're my top three favorites and they're my go-tos. And those are the ones that I recommend to my clients at all times. So let's go in. I've washed my face. I have put on my moisturizer and it has synced into my skin. If it is during the day, I will put on a sunscreen first and let that sink into my skin. I definitely recommend making sure that whatever you're putting on your face first is has had time to sink into your skin and your skin is dry. Make sure that any moisturizers, primers, sunscreen, they don't have any silicone in them because that will, the makeup will just sort of fall off your face. Um, so you just wanna make sure you're careful with that. Um, but yeah, let's go in. I like, to, I like to recommend going in with your fingers first because you can feel the makeup. And it's fine if you prefer to use a brush. You just wanna make sure you're going in really, really lightly and you're doing a very minimal application. If you put on way too much to start with, first of all, you're not gonna probably like the makeup because it'll be too heavy and too cakey and too thick. But also, you're you're new to the makeup most likely and you don't wanna pick up so much makeup on the edge of your brush. So you just wanna be really careful. So that's why I recommend using your fingers for the first time. I'm gonna use my ring finger on my right hand. My hands are clean and I like to go in just gently tapping into the makeup and putting it on my face like this. And most likely I will have drawn a line like little chicken feet like this on your forehead and then down your nose like this on your lip and down like that. So that would be the first thing I would like to do. I do this mainly because I want it to warm up around my eyes. This is going to make sure that when I'm going in to blend it, it'll be warm, it'll be easier to move. And if you do have crepey skin like I do right here, around your eyes, it's not going to sink into those lines. It's also gonna be a thinner, lighter layer in the areas where you don't want to draw attention to. So that's really important. That's why I do the eyes first. Some people do it last, but this is how I like to do it. So this is how I recommend it to my, my clients. The next color is gonna be the mango. This is my color corrector, and this is gonna help me with the redness on my face. You may have a different color, and you may not have a color corrector. It just depends on your skin, the different things that have been going on with your skin, your age, all the different things. If you have sunspots, if you have melasma, if you have rosacea, if you have acne, those things tend, those those skin types tend to have to have a color corrector. You may not need it, so if that's you, you can skip over this part and go to the main color. So I'm gonna go in with this. Now I'm gonna use brush, my own brush. This was a, this is a, my um, a clean, nice brush for demonstration purposes, but I'm gonna use my brush here. So I like to go in with the blend brush. You can again go in with your finger, either way, up to you. Um, if I were to go into my finger, I would just dab the color like this. I'm gonna show you both so you can see. Um, and you can see I have some spots here, so I'm going to lightly press very minimal amount of makeup on these red spots, the discolor creations of my face. And let me see. And as you can see, I don't have a lot going on with the color. It's a very minimal amount of makeup. And then I can go in with this or I can go in with the other brush. But let's keep going with our fingers. So I don't mean to confuse it bringing in a, in a, in a brush. I did not mean to do that. So, and then I just have a little bit here. And as you can see, I have some sunspots here, but I'm gonna leave those alone because this is where I'm gonna put the contour. So just a little more here. And as you can almost see, it's disappearing. These spots are disappearing and very little makeup. Right now I'm gonna go with my third color, which is my main color. And <clears throat> I don't wanna layer the makeup, so I'm just gonna put it along my jawline like this, my chin. This and then a little bit up here to work with that. So that's all I'm going to do. Now, if you have a main color and you don't have uh, your color corrector on their cheeks, then you may put a little bit on your cheeks like this. Follow the picture that I sent you with the mapping and the markings that I put on yours. Next, you're going to go in. I like using this blush bronzer brush. I like this end. As you can see, it's got this really nice soft edge and you're just going to pounce it. We call it stippling on your skin, just like this. 
and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm doing a good job look in the mirror and as you can see I'm just pushing the makeup into my skin I'm not uh, swiping it or moving I'm just gently pushing it into my skin and making sure I get it all so if you have any comments if you have any questions please leave them below and I can get back and answer them for you and if you are interested in the makeup because you're not a customer and you found me please feel free to go into the description below there should be a color match form right there and you can fill that out and I can get you back with your own results and your own picture like I was commenting about so I'm just gonna rub this a little bit into my forehead and then that'll be done so I pretty much have rubbed in everything and it's amazing how easy it is. Okay, I'm gonna leave my eyes for last because I want that to warm up. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the detail brush, which is, as you can see, it has this edge right here and I'm gonna go into the contour and pick up the contour with the edge right there. Now you can also go in with your fingers, but I highly recommend getting used to using this brush because it's really helpful. So you're just gonna go into the product like this and you're gonna get a little bit on your brush. I think you can see that. Now the key to contour is you wanna go from your ear. You don't wanna go past your eye like this, right? So you wanna find your um, cheekbone, right? And I'm gonna get a brush to sort of give you an idea. So here, if you did this, this could be the line of your cheekbone, like right this, see? And you don't wanna go past your eyes. So you just wanna do a little line like that. And I'm just pressing it into my skin. See how that's a line right there? And then you can turn your brush around and you can brush it up into your cheekbone. And see how that now I'm doing a very light minimal amount and I do have this right here which I want to sort of work with so I'm gonna use that as a little bit of a cheater because that is a sunspot on my cheek so I'm going to use that as instead of being a negative I'm going to use that to blend into with the contour like that so it's part of now I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do some in my hairline like this. Don't worry, I'm not gonna miss the other side. And you want to make sure that you are bringing it down from your hairline like this. So I have some little lighter hairs, so I'm just gonna try to go into my hairline like this, pull it down, and like this. And the point of that is, is that you want to bring a shadow here so that you end up having the focus on your eyes, right? Because you're going to bring down a little bit of a shadow and you're going to highlight this part with the brightness of your face in here. So that's the point of that. And then you want to do a little bit on this. You can, I didn't do as, pick up the makeup, a kiss, and then again, not go past your eye and blend it up like that. Just make sure it's all blended. Then you can go in, you can use the other end of your brush as well. So you could go in to the contour like this. You could do it that way as well. And you can do along your jawline like this. Just put a nice line here. Be careful if you have jowls and you have, um, your skin is sort of sinking here. You don't wanna put it here because it's gonna make it look like it's receding more. So you just wanna put it along here and then right here versus right here. So you would just do it along here, along your, I don't think I picked up enough. So you just wanna put a little bit here and here. And I still prefer to use the other end. So I'm gonna just pick some up there and then bring it down your neck like this. And then down your neck, creating a shadow and that will make you have a nice jawline like this. Okay, now we can't forget our nose, so we're gonna go in a little bit like this, and like this, and pull it up. And we still have not forgotten about our eyes, I mean, our around our eyes. You can put a little here, and you can add a little here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in 
with my same brush and I'm going to do my eyes, rounding it. And it's just really soft and nice. Don't forget down your nose. And there you have all of your face. So we did the first four colors. We did the two, the number one, number two, number three, and number four. So that is everything through your contour. And then we're going to get to the lip and cheek and we could use that. And, um, and we're almost done. Depending on the lip and cheek you chose and that you have in your palette, depends if you wanna go in using your brush or you wanna use your finger. I have Nude. It's a very soft cream. For some reason, I don't know why this is creamier than others. I like to go with my finger with this one because I find if I do use the brush, it picks up too much and then I end up having to spend time trying to blend it or remove it or something. So just check your consistency of your lip and cheek. Some are um, more solid and would be are easier to pick up very lightly with your brush and some are not. So just check that. So here's my blush. You can add it to your lips. Um, add a little more. And if you want to add a gloss, you can add a gloss. And this is my illuminator. I like to use my illuminator just on my brow bone like this. You can put it on the top of your cheeks like this, like that. Now, another thing that you can do, and it's really up to you if this, if you did or did not get eyeshadows, you can go in with your contour, use a little bit on your brush and add it like a little eyeshadow like this. And just double duty your contour, which is so fun, right? And then you can take your illuminator and put it a little bit like right here and right here. Now, you may not have gotten this brush, but if you did, and if you have this line brush, you can use this to go in and pick up the contour to fill in your eyebrows. But if you didn't get that, that's not a problem, but there are so many other ways to use these colors. The fact that the contour has, you know, you can use it as a lip liner, an eyeshadow, fill in your eyebrows, all types of things. So that's a great thing. That is everything in your top layer of your compact. And then if you got other things down here, you could play with those as well. But hopefully this will help you get started with everything in your palette and you'll be on your way to enjoying your 3D cream foundation. The last thing you need to do is add your mascara and then you are done. So I'm just going to do a quick little mascara like this and I'm all done so there you have it that's everything on the top layer of your palette I hope this was helpful I hope this was a easy beginners 3d foundation tutorial and please like and subscribe and come back and see some more videos from me. So thank you so much. If you would like your color match, check down below in the description box and, um, and I'll be sure to get you back your custom results for the colors that work right for you. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in my emails.